Well, hello artists, we have our cards out in front of us again. We're gonna open up our imagination, crack that open, pour it onto the page, and see what we can come up with. We have small subjects, we're gonna pick a B, bumblebee, so that's yellow, black stripes, kind of fuzzy, real tiny. Let's see here, medium subjects, we're gonna go with a anglerfish, I like this already. Bumblebee, anglerfish, a large subject we're gonna mix in there if you want. It's gonna be a megalodon, so that's like a great white shark. The anglerfish, by the way, is the one kind of from Nemo, and he's the scary one that's down uh, underwater about, you know, 3,000 feet, and he has the little hangy ball thing and big teeth. Big teeth. We'll put the cards up here so you can see. But he's a real animal, kind of crazy looking already. We'll see. Yeah. Detail, these details will make everything random. Everything random. Here we go. Could be a challenge, and if you don't like this one, you can pick a different one. Your face. That sounds crazy. Okay, I'm gonna keep with that. So we pulled your face off of this. Your face, not my face, your face. And real quick, if you want an extra challenge, pick a habitat to put your little weird mythical whatever into ice age i know what my face looks like you know what your face looks like let's get drawing i'm gonna use the body shape probably of the shark i haven't drawn anything yet but it's probably mostly going to be a shark body and then a crazy looking mouth the hangy ball thing yellow and black stripes maybe some fuzz but when it comes to drawing my face, you drawing your face, think about what features people might recognize apart from other people. For me, I have beard, mustache kind of thing, big eyebrows, mole. So if you have long hair, if you have a certain color hair, if you have certain color eyes, you might want to color those in. Anything that makes you most unique. Sometimes if you're younger, your face is a little bit more round, so that's more unique because your parents' faces are going to be longer and stretched out. So keep that in mind when you're drawing. If you have big ears or little tiny ears, or if you have a long nose or a little short nose or big eyes or little tiny eyes or... Any kind of thing that's going to make you and your face kind of stand out from anybody else's face so it looks like you. I like to use brush tip markers because they're easier for me to control and that's something that you have to choose your tools wisely so that you can control them however you draw your style. It doesn't have to be like this, but whether it's marker or not, you wanna make sure that you're comfortable using it. These I like a lot, they don't have a smell, they don't have an odor, like a lot of markers you have to use outside almost. So I added this scary beard, and then some scary teeth to match this scary beard. I tried to make them go all the different directions that an anglerfish would have, and I think it was kinda of funny. I had no idea when we started out what this was gonna be, but it kind of starts taking shape. Eerie yet fun. I like the veins and the wings, and you'll see I try to make them look translucent with the color, or see-through with the color. And then the center line I put on there is to try and make the two-tone look of a shark, since the shark is dark on the top and light on the bottom. Whoops. I like color pencil because it's easier for me to control also. When you use soft color pencils versus hard color pencils, they blend better. So I do a whole coating of color over the whole thing usually. And then the more colors you build on, you go in layers. So you don't get too dark too quick because once it's dark it's it's hard to take some of it off i mean you can use the eraser sometimes you might be able to use a white blender to try and help out but i like to build the color layers over time and so it's kind of slow but i build and build and build and build and try not to rush Inside of his mouth, I wanted to look kind of scary, so I did this red to contrast all the other colors, so it didn't look too playful, kind of scary on this art. This one, because of the B color yellow, he starts kind of looking tropical, which is fun, because sharks and anglerfish are definitely not tropical fish. 
Another creature added to our impossible kingdom. Well, that about does it for this creature. I kind of like it, kind of weirded out by it. It's like bizarro. I hope to never see this fish ever, but it turned out neat and uh, makes a weird piece of art. I'll tell you that much. I hope you like yours and how it turned out. Keep your imagination open, please. Keep drawing, and we'll see you next time.